Welcome to another J Crazy News headlines and a special Saturday afternoon to those who are watching this news broadcast. Now to my viewers and my subscribers, the family of Donovan have come out and said that they had nothing whatsoever to do with the killing of O'Brien Lawrence and that they will not take part in doing so. Now, based on information, Mr. Donovan Nelson. Now, Mr. Nelson was shot and killed by criminal elements who are aligned to the KDF gang as well as Greedy, the brother of Brokan, while he was seen in Campbell's Lane doing work on some steps. Now, Donovan was a Mason worker and he was killed doing what he loved best. As I said before, the family of Donovan have come out and said that they had nothing to do with the killing of O'Brien Lawrence, which took place yesterday. Now, yesterday afternoon, O'Brien Archie Lawrence, aka Chino, was shot and killed along the main road in the community, just meters away from a JDF post. Now, he was shot multiple times by criminal elements who is said to be rivals of his cousin Breedy and Brokan and also rivals of the KDF gang. Now the criminal elements also say that they are going after Greedy to take him three points as well. Now Greedy has become a problem in the St. James area especially in Mount Salem. Now, gangs, different gangs, especially in Flankers, have joined forces to go up against the KDF gang or the KDF organization, the Killer Defense Force organization. And that they have sworn to get rid of all the criminal elements aligned to that faction in the parish of St. James. But the news article have actually stated that the killing of O'Brien Archie Lawrence, which took place the afternoon in Mount Salem, may have been connected to the killing of Mr. Donovan Nelson. Oh, Donovan Nelson isn't from the Mount Salem area. He's from Green Pond in St. James. And he came to do work in the area. He was killed by greedy and criminal elements aligned to the KDF gang. Now to the police, you're going to wait until greedy becomes the most wanted man in the parish of St. James by actually committing more murders or are you going to go after him right now ASAP before matters get worse because I've seen where security forces you know the government wait until the criminals get hot pile up more bodies before they become wanted and hunted by the JDF or the JCF so I'm going to wait until it becomes more hot and take the life of more individuals. Now we head towards the parish of St. Catherine, Spanish town to be exact, where last night a chicken chop driver was robbed and also shot and killed by criminal elements. Now dead is 30-year-old Rishon Dallas otherwise called Jordan, of a March Pen Road address. Now, based on news report, around 10.30 p.m. last night, Mr. Dallas drove his truck with chickens to the Neesbury Grove area, that's in Kitson Town, Spain Town, where he was held up by criminal elements. He was shot by his attackers, and they also robbed the truck. Now, Mr. Dallas was in the hospital in Spain Town, where he was pronounced dead by doctors. The St. Catherine North Division Police 
are searching for the criminal elements in the murder of Mr. Dallas, which occurred last night in the Kitson Town era of Spanish Town. Now, anyone who have information and also whereabouts of the criminal elements to the life of Mr. Dallas, you can give the information to the police or you can contact me by my Instagram account, my email, and also my TikTok account as well. However, this is sad that this man doing what he loves best, making ends meet, lost his life by the hands of brutal and evil serpent. Now, still in the parish of St. Catherine, Spain Town to be exact, where unconfirmed reports suggest that three persons were shot on a section of Young Street in Spain Town. Early this morning, it's also alleged that one person from the three individuals succumbed to their injuries. All of this is unconfirmed at the moment. Later on, I give you official reports of this shooting incident along Young Street in Spanish Town. It's also alleged that shooting occurred in Central Village. This is Jay Crazy. Until then, blessed and safe Saturday afternoon. Yeah man, I'm here to see a black legend. I'm here to represent for Jay Crazy YouTube reviewing channel. So watch, like, comment, subscribe and share out the thing. Jay Crazy YouTube reviewing channel. In review news and entertainment. Celebrity lifestyle movements are flow. Jay Crazy not play with him and review the thing then. Jay Crazy YouTube reviewing channel. In review news and entertainment. Celebrity lifestyle movements are flow. Jay Crazy not play with him and review the thing then. We do the thing then, we do the thing then Check crazy Reviewing news, entertainment and celebrity lifestyle We do the thing then, we do the thing then Check crazy